Hi, this is John Lommers, the creator of Epic Table. In this video, I'm going to give you a quick tour of the Epic Table user interface. First off, you can see here this looks like a standard Windows application, and that's by design. The, uh, the idea is to be as uh, familiar as possible so that you spend your time gaming and not trying to to learn how the interface works. So if you're familiar with Windows applications, nothing in Epic Table will be real surprising to you. Let's quick walk through this. So the there's some themes that recur here. Up here in the ribbon you have some layout control and some control over your game in terms of options and who's invited and who's actually in attendance. And then you have a number of tabs that are related to managing resources. So each of these kind of follow the same theme. You have a gallery of the resource in question, so in this case characters, and you have the ability to create a private or a shared version. Private ones are ones that are only visible to you and shared ones are shared with all the players. So we have characters, we've got dice rolls, handouts, tabletops. Um, tabletops in addition to managing the resource also lets you do things like change the background, it has a library of game pieces like map pins and coins and stones and things that you can use on your tabletops as well as objects that you might want to put on your table like index cards and notes and text fields and images. Similarly maps in addition to the gallery you have access to a library of background, textures, um, control over the grid, and then um, fog of war is a, a whole separate topic that's handled in another video. And then finally, the drawing tab gives you access to essentially wet erase style uh, tools, um, just like on your battle mat, your physical battle mat at your tabletop. In addition to the ribbon, we have a set of panels down here, essentially three panels that ring a central region of tabs. So you have the chat panel here on the left, and you have the incoming chat area as well as an area for you to, to write your own chat, text chats. And I call this character-centric or role-play-centric chat because you have the ability to have a tab for each character that you're playing. In addition, you can set up tabs for any of these options down here. Like, for instance, in this case, I have a, a tab that's just for a whisper to one of the players. The portrait bar lets you see the players that are currently in the game or monsters. If you've got monsters in the game currently, you can think of this as your on stage area. And you can make this bigger or smaller, um, sort of as the, the needs of your game dictate. Or you can hide it entirely. Um, same goes with the the dice tray down here. The dice tray gives you quick access to to rolls where you can click here, hit a number, and roll a set of dice that way. And then finally the central area is composed of tabs. So I've got at this point a map that's shared. I have a player info tabletop that's shared. And then a GM notes tabletop that's private to me. You have standard scroll bars here for the map area and you can also zoom in and out using these tools up here. Finally, behind the dragon logo here you have access to preferences and support information. And that's all there is to the Epic Table user interface. Thanks.